As early as the 19th century, many cars on the road were already electric and appearing in newspaper ads like this one in Pittsburgh. But in 1908, Henry Ford introduces the gas-powered Model T, and until 1927, Ford would perfect the assembly line and build some 15 million Model T cars. It won't be until the mid-60s when we start seeing electric cars come back, mostly concept models like the Henny Kilowatt. In the late 90s, the world gets its glimpse of hybrids, among them the Toyota Prius, which rolls into America dealerships in 2000. Three years later, Tesla forms, and in 2008, the company debuts the Roadster sports car. It's followed by the Model S, Model X, Model 3, and more. At the same time, Asia proves to be a dominant player. The Nissan Leaf becomes the world's best-selling EV in 2010, and China becomes the world's biggest EV market ever. Its billionaire investors include Jack Ma and Warren Buffett. For a look at how other automakers are trying to keep up with Tesla, joining me is Peter Rawlinson, former Tesla engineer and now CEO of Lucid, a potential Tesla competitor, and he joins us now from San Francisco. Uh, great to talk to you, Peter. I'm excited about the interview. Uh, Tesla still dominates the market. How long does that last? Well, Tesla dominates because they are the technological leader. And what's not recognized is this is a tech play. Their technology has been recognized. And I think that's been a major factor in the recent surge in their share price. So is Lucid then a tech company and then slash competitor to Tesla? Or is Lucid going to want to be a car company like a Ford or GM? Well, I guess for all of those things, first of all, cut us to the core that we're a tech company. This is a technology play, and that is not sufficiently recognized. But there's room for Lucid to thrive alongside Tesla. Um, we have a, a world of luxury products, which is dominated by the German automakers, Mercedes-Benz, Audi and BMW, and their gasoline products. Lucid is a luxury EV company, and we're going to compete with those core competitors, which are the, the German companies. Mercedes S-Class is our core competitor car. There's plenty of room for Lucid to thrive and coexist alongside Tesla. Uh, part of the issue with this whole transition has been money. Uh, automakers are pouring money into this, I mean billions. It's not yet profitable for them, uh, even though battery prices are coming down. Are you going to need more money to make all of this happen? Well, we've got great funding uh, in place. Uh, we're in a healthy financial situation through to start of production. Uh, we will need to raise more to accelerate the growth of the company uh, because we have a wonderful window of opportunity now in the next few years. We want to accelerate our growth. We'll need more capital to do that. And we want to accelerate the growth of a sustainable mobility to the world. And right now, uh, that's what mankind needs. Uh, a widespread adoption of renewable, sustainable uh, mobility through renewable sources. Can you put some numbers onto it, sort of how much more you think you're going to need to raise and how quickly then you can grow? Well, I, I don't want to be too specific here because it's early days, but the world knows that although we're a tech company, the auto business is intensely capital intensive. So uh, we're talking uh, seven figures, uh, sorry, nine figure sums. Nine-figure sums, do you feel like the market's open to that? Because they seem to punish traditional OEMs when they have to sort of uh, fire people and then cut their, uh, their buybacks or something, and they seem to reward it to Tesla. What's the response? I think that the uh, traditional OEs are, are really struggling because they have their, their processes, they have their methodologies, and, and many of those are real suited to this rapid transition now to electric mobility. Uh, we're a startup with a startup mentality. Lucid Motors is based here in Silicon Valley, at the heart of Silicon Valley. And, you know, we're very entrepreneurial with our, uh, with our spending. And our, our whole business philosophy is that, has run that way. Um, what is different about a Lucid car or battery or uh, execution from, say, a Tesla or other EVs out there? Well, what differentiates us is world-class technology. Our battery technology, we supply the batteries to all the cars in Formula E. Mm -hmm. So we have this race-proven battery technology underpinning our car. But our motor and inverter 
and that's the software, even our transmission is truly world class. We have a technological lead. Lucid already has cars out there in test which are surpassing 400 miles of range. And that's not in artificial conditions, that's in real world test conditions. We already have the very first 400 mile electric car. And you know, words are cheap, so please don't take my word for it. What we're going to do is invite journalists to participate and observe such test runs in the very near, near future so they can report out that the era of the 400 mile range electric car is already here and the technological lead is in Lucid's hands. Uh, so quickly, when can that happen and then when are you going to need the money? We're going to demonstrate that we have this great technology over the next few weeks in our run up to a world premiere uh, at the New York Auto Show in early April. Um, the financial situation, really we need more, the requirements for more money are to accelerate the growth of the company with bringing in an SUV based upon our Lucid Air platform as soon as possible. And I just can't wait to do that.